And it's a new dawn for the Niger Delta Development Commission with the appointment of a new management board. The managing director, Keme Ponde, resumed duty at the NDDC headquarters in Portakot with promises to work solely for the interests of the region. Correspondent Uchi Okoro reports. <laughs> Fanfare at the entrance of the NDDC office by well wishers of the new board members appointed by President Muhammad Buhari to pilot the affairs of the interventionist agency. Keme Bradiku Mopande is the man upon whom the mantle has fallen to lead the interim management committee. He wasted no time to commence his first assignment, a tour of the multi-story complex. It was also an opportunity to meet and greet the workforce and to solicit their cooperation to achieve his mandate. The five-man NDDC board also met with the workers, directors and other senior management staff to share their vision. As a professor of medicine with expertise in virology, the MD describes himself as a problem solver. He promised to bring his wealth of experience to bear in addressing the challenges of the Niger Delta. We need to change from the way things are done. There will be a radical review of quite number of things, especially those that have been done wrongly. I don't know about quality assurance or quality improvement in the Niger Delta Development Commission. I want to believe it exists because you must have measurable performance indicators in every unit and in every department. He also assured that those days of abandoned, poorly executed, or even ghost projects by the NDDC are over. Efficiency, is it the project monitoring? Who is the person signing completion of projects when the projects are not even there? Who is signing for projects that have not been uh, done to the specifications? Who is signing for projects that are not completed but are, uh, that seem to be completed? We need to look back into these things uh, uh, properly. Amidst controversies that have trailed leadership of the NDDC in recent times, it is hoped that the setting up of this new interim management committee would bring the much needed new lease of life to the commission. Uche Okoro. TVC News, Port Harcourt.